Welcome back everybody, I'm Brad. I'm Steve. And today we have a beer for you from Dark Horse. This is Scotty Karate. <laughs> yeah, this was actually brought to our attention by a viewer. Yep, um, thank so we, you Mike. We appreciate it. Sorry we couldn't get it in the bracket. Uh, we kind of changed that up last minute because uh, we didn't want to black out <laughs> uh, with some of the uh, suggestions viewers were giving us. And so when I say black out... Funny you should say that, right? Yeah. Is, this is 9.75%. And you can tell right off the bat, not a lot of head. <laughs> uh, so that tells me it's probably aged for quite a while. Yeah. yeah. And we did not look really anything up, so we don't know the IBUs. Untap did not have it, so I'm guessing it's probably low, low. maybe 20s, yeah. if that. Yeah. Hardly nothing. So if we look at the head, obviously there's not much there. What I do have is a tannish head, but cloudy, yeah. brownish, amber, dark amber color. Can't see through it at all. Smell? Sweet. Bourbon. Mm-hmm. Maybe a little bit of caramel. Yeah, I was thinking like a almost a dark fruit, dark raisin. Yeah. Well, shall we try it? <laughs> yep. A lot tamer than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, uh, surprising. You can still tell there's a lot of alcohol in there. Um, I get... I get the sweetness up front. It dissipates fast. Um, in the middle, I'll have to let you know in a second. But at the end, what's really interesting to me is that caramel flavor kind of lingers. I don't know if I'm really getting this, but my mind tells me I'm getting like a brown sugar coconut in the middle. I, I'm guessing it's the bourbon barrel whiskey mixed with the caramel caramel but I'm getting like a burnt or brown sugar coconut hmm. that's an interesting beer um, I can't really taste the alcohol at all no it's not bad it's uh, I thought it was gonna be a lot more pungent me too um, and like burn <laughs> slightly <laughs> um, but it's not it's not bad at all um, like I said, the, the carbonation is very low on this. Yeah, and I was afraid of that because when I did look at it, I could see bubbles streaming up there. But I think the carbonation's perfect. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for the style of beer it is. Um, it, it tastes, in a good way, it tastes old. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's been aged a while. You can tell. Uh, but I think that's the good thing about beer too is just like a wine right when you age it a proper way you can get some of those complex flavors out right, of right coming whatever, out of that. yeah whatever you're aging um so i think that's why we get the plum the raisin the kind of um older flavors yeah. that you would get what would you give this one out of five this is gonna be in the four range maybe three five somewhere in there um i could i could drink this Probably only one, <laughs> but, but uh, you know, I don't, I know it's local, so we can easily get it, but I don't know if I'd drive a really long distance right. to get this. I I would actually say 4.25, 4.5. Okay. Because again, I, I like coconut in my darker beers, and I don't know what it is. It, like I said, it's like brown sugar, caramel... I'm guessing it's the bourbon is it what's is. pairing with that. Maybe like the vanilla is mixing, you know, with the brown sugar or something like that. So I would go between a 4.25 and a 4.5. Well, and probably why you score higher is you used to drink, and maybe you still do, I don't know, but bourbon, and I don't. Yeah, I don't. I hate that stuff. Really? Yeah. You used to drink wild turkey. Makers, Mark. And yeah. yeah. No. All right. Uh-uh drink too much of that <laughs> I, I can't even touch this stuff <laughs> yeah but yeah and and really if you look at any of the other barrel aged ones that we've done and stuff like that it's it's too much like bell's uh black note is way too much for me but 
the smell of this is like those, but it's mellower. It's like it's been aged for a lot longer. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I could see that. It's uh, it probably only get better, too, with aging. So. Yeah, and I wish they had some more on here. Yeah, they didn't have a lot of nope. information. Um, and it's hard, you know, we don't. We don't have a born on date like right. you know Bud Light or something. Yep. Thank God, but um, but yeah, it's it's hard to tell how long the process took, how how long since it's been in bottle, but right. still a good beer. Yep. So that'll wrap up this review for Scotty Karate. Until next time, I'm Brad. And I'm Steve. Happy brewing. See you next time. Thank you for watching this video. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Leave me a comment down below to tell me what you thought about this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and share and hit that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. You can check out these videos over here. Also, head over to 31stbrewing.com for everything beer and home brewing related.